Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm back today with an unboxing. I had received a pretty decent sized box from both L'Oreal and Influencer. I was chosen to receive the new products in the L'Oreal hair care line. I have used, I want to I want to say at least a good 95% of all the products in the L'Oreal line. Not so much the styling products, it's more of the shampoos and conditioners because I go through those a lot more than I would a styling product, obviously. And honest, I'm gonna say I have not been super impressed with any of the products. I don't think I've ever really noticed a big difference in my hair, like according to what the product offers. Like, I've used the volume one, I've used the repair one, which actually was the last one I just used, the Total Repair Extreme Reconstructing Shampoo and Conditioner. I don't feel like it did really anything for my hair. I feel like it just cleaned my hair. That was it. For me, when I use a shampoo and conditioner, I like to see that it actually does what it what it claims to do. You know what I mean? Like you want to see the um, results. You want to see the results. And I don't feel like I saw any of the results while using this. So when I saw that I was going to be chosen, well, I was chosen for the box, I was actually kind of excited because this is going to be a redemption process for me. So. If this one actually works, maybe I will have found finally the one that actually works for me. So, let's get into it. Before I get started, I should probably do a little quick disclaimer for you guys. Um, there seems to be some confusion on which videos are paid and which ones are not. My video, I'm, I promise you, I am not getting paid to do this whatsoever. The companies literally just send me the products for me to try out and review in hopes that I will review it online for you guys. And honestly, I this is what I do. I love doing it. This is what makes my channel keep going is getting products and reviewing them for you guys. So this is no different than that. They're not paying me, neither L'Oreal nor influencers paying me to do this. I just get free stuff and I'm here to review it for you guys. With that being said, I want to also say a lot of people ask me all the time, you know, how do you get all the free stuff that you get? I'm an influencer and I am in fact a top influencer, which means that I am constantly reviewing products, posting pictures and all that kind of stuff. So that means I have a lot of social presence, like social media impact as they call it. So I'm not going to get too much into it, but I will link the video down below where I explain everything about influencer, where to sign up, how easy it is, like what you can do to get your boxes, all that kind of stuff. I will link everything down below. So if you want to become an influencer and you want to know more about it, look down below. Everything you need to know is down there. So the first thing that I see here is or are two cards. One is, I'm guessing, just some information about the product itself. Uh, it says here, discover an incredible rebirth for dry curls. If you can't tell right now, um, I actually have very, very curly hair, like very, very dense, thick, very curly hair naturally, and it takes me forever to straighten my hair to get this straight, which is why I went ahead and got this box, was because I have curly hair. So this is the Extraordinary Oil Curls Nourishing Shampoo System. Try our first shampoo system with luscious, lightweight oils, amla, coconut, soja, flax, rose, and sunflower. So I don't know if I'm missing the claim to being safe for cultured hair, but I looked on all three products and nowhere on this does it say that it's safe for color treated hair. So I'm going to email L'Oreal, I think, and ask them if it is safe for the for color hair because I spend a lot of time on my hair to make sure that it's perfect and if I, you know, I could easily get my bounce back and have my hair be healthy with this product, but if I'm going to sacrifice my hair color, I'm going to be mad. <laughs> Even though my hair has gone through quite a few color processes and I do sometimes, not as often as I used to, but I do sometimes use heat tools to it, it is considerably healthy. I can say there's a lot of shine to it, which I thoroughly enjoy. I love seeing shiny, healthy hair. It's it's pretty good. I do take large steps to make sure that my hair is healthy. I do masks, whether it be homemade or store-bought ones. I use heat protectants. I have been letting my hair dry naturally instead of taking a hair dryer to it unless I absolutely have to. I do straighten my hair maybe once or twice, if that, a month. I try to limit the amount of time I put any heat to my hair. So I do make my hair a very big priority when it comes to making it healthy. So I want to make sure this product will contribute to that. I want to make sure it helps my hair continue to be healthy and look healthy. Also, this is a oil-based product. It says on here, Extraordinary Oil Curls. So it's oil-based. One thing that comes into my head when I think of oils, whether it be facial oils, number one with facial oils, I think, oh my God, pimples, no thank you or hair oils, I think, 
holy crap, my hair is going to look like a grease pit. I do not want my hair to be weighed down. So is this product going to weigh my hair down? I'm going to be extra careful with how much I use initially. And then I think I'll just add a little by little each time. Because I do have a lot of hair and I do use a lot of conditioner for my hair in order for it all to be coated. Um, so I want to make sure that I use the right amount for my hair. But I also want to make sure it doesn't grease down my hair. So we'll find that out on Monday. Hey guys, welcome to my bathroom. So I'm about to get into my shower and try these products for the very first time. I'm excited about it, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, meh, about it because I've tried so many products from this L'Oreal line, essentially all of them as far as these shampoos and conditioners go, and none of them really worked for me. I didn't find that they did anything that they actually claimed to do. So I'm excited to try it just to see maybe this is going to be my new holy grail product, but I'm kind of, you know, skeptical. But we're going to find out, aren't we? So for this review, I'm going to use the shampoo and conditioner. And then for the next time I wash my hair, which will probably be on Sunday, which actually will be Sunday, I'm going to use the shampoo and the mask. I want to compare both of those products too, just to make sure that I have a thorough review of each of the products instead of giving you just a all-around, you know, product review. I want to give you a review on each of the products. I'm kind of skeptical. I'm scared to use these because nowhere on these bottles does it say that it's safe for colored hair. And we all know my hair is galaxy colored right now. I have so many different colors in my hair. So I'm kind of scared about that. I tried emailing L'Oreal, have not gotten anything back, um, so I don't really know exactly what I'm supposed to expect from using these for my colored hair. I'm hoping and praying it isn't doing anything to my hair because I take a lot of time and a lot of pride in my hair. I always want to make it look good, so if it washes out my color, I'm going to be super, super pissed. But this is a part of reviewing. I have to do it. I have to try these out. So I'm going to find out if these are any good. So I'm going to read you guys the claims one more time, and then I'm going to go ahead and break down down how I feel that the products compared to the actual claim. So it says here, for curls that are powerfully rejuvenated with deep nutrition, our extraordinary oil system instantly transforms lifeless curls into bouncy defined and lustrous. Our system with oils and botanical extracts and oil penetrates the fiber to instantly replenish curls with nourishment and elasticity. <sighs> We're going to see if those are actually anything that happens when I use the product. Um, it says, in one wash, re-nourished curls. I'm going to let my hair go natural. I'm not going to straighten it. I'm not going to do anything like that to it. I did straight or curl my hair today, actually yesterday. And I did let my hair get to the absolute greasiest as possible that it could possibly get to, which to me is disgusting. I don't ever let my hair get this greasy, but for this, I really wanted to let it get to just the farthest point of greasy I could possibly get because I want to see how good the shampoo is at actually cleaning your hair. So we're going to find out all those things. I'm going to get in the shower and I'll see you guys in a couple minutes. My hair is all wrapped in my towel. Um, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't really feel like the conditioner is really conditioning. I, I don't know what it was, but it felt like it was really a thin conditioner. You know what I mean? Like, you know some conditioners can be very, very, like, like really creamy? This one didn't feel as creamy as my Garnier Fructis one, my Pro Organics one. It felt a little on the thin side. Um, my hair feels conditioned, so... I guess I can't really say much, you know, bad about it until I actually see my hair completely dried. But it didn't feel as creamy or as thick as I'd like a, as I'd like a conditioner to be, you know, for it to be considered nourishing. Because I feel like we all have this thing where, you know, we think nourish, we think of like super creamy, super thick. You know, we want that in the nourishing product. So it's been about a good two hours since my shower. So I'm going to take this off. And let's see if my curls look any better or feel any better because I haven't touched anything, I haven't felt anything. So, let's... so my hair definitely feels healthy and it feels good. It doesn't feel dry or anything. My hair takes a long time to dry. It retains water very, very well. So it takes a long time for my hair to dry naturally. So this is to be expected even though it's been two hours after my shower but whatever it did wash out some of the color i showed you guys in the clip a couple set or a couple seconds ago you saw the clip of the shower how the water was purple so clearly it's not that good for color treated hair i'll see the damage that it had done um when my hair dries completely um but it does wash some of the color out so that's kind of something that i'm not too fond of i really want a shampoo and conditioner that will keep my color locked in 
but it also does everything it claims to do. I want it to nourish my hair and make sure it looks healthy, but I don't want to ever like sacrifice my hair color because obviously, like I said a couple minutes ago, I take great pride in coloring my hair. So that's definitely a negative for me, the fact that I washed out my color um, and quite a bit of it. You can see the water was completely like purple. If you've ever used Herbal Essences, um, a good comparison of scent of this product it reminds me of the, the Herbal Essences of Sleeker, the butter scent. It has a really pretty vanilla scent. However, when I was doing my conditioner portion of my shower, I noticed there was a slight chemical scent, and I did not like that. Since then, it has gone away. It's n just now smells like a floral vanilla scent, which I can enjoy. I do like it a lot. Um, comparing this to my Herbal Essences products and my Garnier products and my Pro Organics products, I can say that, you know... I don't know if I'm going to like as much or as less as those products, however, it does compare pretty nicely to them. My hair does feel similar to how it feels when I do use those products, and those are my holy grail products. Not so much the Herbal Essences, because I found that the Herbal Essences products really have started to do less and less for my hair. They don't really work as well anymore, but the Pro Organics products and the Garnier products definitely do a lot for my hair, so I would say, like, as of right now, it feels pretty similar to when I use the Pro Organics products and the Garnier products, so that's pretty cool. I do like that a lot, but I really want to let my hair dry a little bit more to give you guys a good first review on them. I don't really notice a, you know, better curl to my hair. Um, normally my hair is a lot curlier than this, so I don't know if it's weighing down my curls to where it's not going to let them, f like, form how they would naturally form if I didn't use this product, or if my hair is having a weird day. I don't really know what's going on right now, but my hair normally is a lot curlier than this, so... I don't know what's going on. I don't know if it's straightened my hair a little bit because it never doesn't really look like this normally. I'll put a picture of my hair when it looks natural, when it's not had any products in it or anything like that. I'll put a picture of it in a couple minutes, but I mean, no normally it's a lot curlier than this. So I'm not seeing, you know, a nourished curl. Um, I see nourished hair for the most part, but not so much a nourished curl. So I don't know about their claim to see bouncier curls because I'm not seeing curls at all. So. <laughs> I don't know guys, let's find out. So I'm talking about my hair color did not stay too well with this product, so not thinking it's too good for colored hair guys. Good morning guys, it is the next day and my hair has officially dried, well to some extent. I did just toss my hair up um, before I went to bed last night and it was still kind of wet. So I do have a little bit of dampness left over. Like I said, my hair retains water very well. It's normal for me to have some wetness the day after even still. So um, there is a little bit, not even of curl, it's like a wave in my hair. Like I said, normally my hair after I wash it with any shampoo conditioner um, has a lot more curl in it. And I just find it kind of weird for a shampoo conditioner that is claiming to, you know, revive your curls and re-nourish your curls and make them more bouncy. There's not much, I mean, there's a little bit of a wave, but there's not much of a curl until you get to the very end, which even these are very loose. And my hair normally is actually very curly, so it's weird. But, you know, I'm not going to knock it for that. I mean, I, didn't, I know its main claim was to, you know, re redo your curls and make them better, but I don't know, maybe something in it uh, kind of reacted to my hair and straightened it out a little bit. I don't know. I don't know what to think about that. So, other than that, my hair smells really good. It feels good for the most part. It doesn't feel greasy at all. That was one of my concerns when using this product was that because it is an oil-based product, it was going to make my hair greasy or feel weighed down. I don't feel any of that. Um, my roots don't feel greasy, the ends don't feel greasy, mid shaft doesn't feel greasy. It feels good, so it feels pretty healthy. As far as color, um, my hair is definitely duller than it usually is after a wash. I can tell you that I know for a fact it was not the color I used because I've been using the same exact color line to do my hair for the longest time. For years I've been using this product line and I stand by it and I've gotten so used to it now that I know what's normal and what's not for this product. I showed you guys a clip of the bath water and you saw that it was majority of it was purple. It wasn't clear water. I've had my hair colored for two weeks now. And the time for the color to be washing out off your scalp has passed 
a long time ago. I know what's normal. Like I said, I know what is supposed to happen when using this product on my hair for hair color. Normally, you will see uh, a, a lot of color come off, but it's because it's what's on your scalp that is coming off. Because I scrub my scalp because I know that after I do a color like this or if I redo my color to make it more brighter, a lot of the color gets stuck on your scalp. So when I go to scrub and scrub and scrub, I'm scrubbing off what's on my scalp and that's the color that's coming off into the water. That was about two weeks ago that should have happened and it did happen. That's normal. My hair was still vibrant, it was still bright, and it looked amazing even after that wash because sometimes when you do go that hard into your hair, which you're supposed to, to massage your, your scalp so the pores open and you can get all the nutrients into your scalp, sometimes some of the color from your hair can wash out. But like I said, ever since that last wash where the color did come off my scalp, I've had nothing but clear water up until now. And it really made me upset to see my color washing off knowing it was this product. So if you are somebody with my kind of color hair or with any kind of color hair and you're worried about this being damaging to your color, I can tell you it is. It wasn't a very, very, very damaging wash. I mean, I still have color in my hair, but a lot of the brightness of it has now been washed out. Like a lot of the, like my hair normally is very, very bright, even after a wash, and you can see that the purple is you know, still there, but it's not very, you know, vibrant. So that's a big thing for me. I do not like that. Price range, the shampoo conditioner, I think go for $4.99 in store and the mask goes for a dollar more. So $5.99 in store. Um, that's about the same price of the other products that I've used. And I want to just point out that I did purchase the other products that I had gotten with my own money. I did not, you know, get these for review or whatever. The past ones I've used, I've all bought with my own money and I have disliked all of them. And I've got to say, this one is on a fast track to be thought of the same way because I, first of all, the biggest thing for me, like I said in the beginning, was my hair color. It washed it out. So what's going to happen next time I do my hair when all my color is pretty much going to be dulled out? And I do have my backup color, but that just creates more work for me. You know what I mean? Like I like my shampoos and conditioners to really take care of the color and my hair and make it look good, not wash it all out and do essentially nothing, which brings me to my next point. The main claim of this product was that it was supposed to re-nourish and make your curls bouncier and healthier. My curls are non-existent. My hair is wavy. My hair naturally is so much curlier than what it is now. Like, it has little spots where it has, it looks like my curls want to restructurize, but they're not. So something in this is either weighing my hair down or it reacted to my hair in a way to where it straightened it out, which to me is weird because I've never had that problem ever before. And it just seems weird to me that a, a product that is supposed to re-nourish and restructurize your curls did nothing of the sort. So really, what are you paying for? You know what I mean? Another kind of plus, I don't really know if this is the reason why my hair is so straightened out with this product, um, is the fact that my hair, even though it's an oil-based product, is not feeling greasy. My roots don't feel greasy, everything feels good. My hair does feel good. However, you know, what is it about this product that is re-straightening out my hair that's making it not curl? I really, really would like to know. So I'm going to do some investigation and try to research of what's going on. Maybe something I did in the shower, but I highly doubt it because, like I said, I've never had this problem before. And I've never seen my hair this, like, weird out of a shower, ever. Normally, I know what to expect. It's going to be curly. It's going to be a big curly mess. I know what to expect with my hair. This is not how it looks normally of a shower. So I just did my hair because I am going to work and I want to show you something. I, I now know for a fact it was the shampoo and conditioner because I have not had this happen in forever. And I now, after using that product, now it's doing it. I am, I am not happy about this because this is not what I want. I don't want my color coming off now on everything, like my skin, everything, everything. Like, and I don't like it, so, whew, not happy. So I just got finished doing my makeup and out of habit, I was running my hands through my hair to kind of smooth away the like frizziness and stuff like that. And when I pulled my hand away, you can barely see it in the camera, right there you can kind of see it, but a lot of the color is still coming out and I already washed off that initial like flush of color that was on my hands after I just did my hair and it's doing it again. It keeps, it, it's literally my color is like oozing out of my hair apparently. I don't know what's going on, but I know for sure that it is that 
product. It was those products because I've never had this issue before with any products before when I would wash my hair, especially after like the two week mark. I don't have any color coming off my hair. I don't have any issues with washout. I don't have any of that. And I feel like it was these products that really caused this to happen. So I was going to do the mask and review the mask, but I'm, I'm so upset about my color coming out and I know I could easily just get it done again. But that's the thing, like I spend a lot of time, a lot of money and keep my hair looking good as far as color and this product is single-handedly ruining my color. I don't feel like it did anything for the structurization of my hair, it didn't really improve anything. My hair feels like it feels when I use my Garnier stuff, my Pro Organics products, I feel, it feels just the same. It's like it's, there's no difference in it except for the fact that it's washing out my color that I spend so much money and time on. And it bothers me. So I'm not going to review the mask. I am done with L'Oreal's products as a whole, um, when it comes to hair color at least. I don't think they're worth it. And I, I know that different people are going to have different reviews. This is only my review. And I feel like my review should be geared more towards those of you who have colored hair. For me, I showed you guys you know, my before and after, before I got in the shower, after I got in the shower, all that kind of stuff. You saw my hair when I got dried. There was no curl to my hair and one of the claims was it structurized your curls and made it more nourished. Do I think it's worth it? No, I don't think it's worth it. I don't think that it's a really good product, especially for those of you who have colored hair like mine. Um, you will see washout. You will see it coming off on your hands and, and stuff like that. I don't need that. I don't need it to be coming off of me after two almost three weeks now. Like I said in the beginning, when I first started talking about the product this morning, you know, it's ex it's to be expected to have a little bit of, you know, the transfer up from your hair after like the first or second wash. It's gonna happen. But for the most part, after that, you don't see any of the run runoff of the color in the, sh in the shower. You don't see any of it transferring onto your hands. Like, to me, this is ridiculous. I'm no longer gonna be using this product. I'm trying to hold the camera. I'm not going to use the products. I'm going to give them away to somebody else. I don't think they're worth the money. I don't think they're really any good. And I have got to say, this was really sad because I had such high hopes for this product because I've had such a like, long line of failures with the other ones. I, I just feel like none of them really deliver what they say they're going to. And this especially proved it to me because when you say that you're going to rejuvenate my curls and make them more bouncier, my curls were non-existent after using the product. So like, I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I just had a dead bottle. I'm sorry if this didn't like, you know, answer all your questions. If you have any questions that you think I should answer for you guys, leave them down below, but I'm not gonna, you know, risk the rest of my color coming out. Cause you can see like, there's no purple to my hair left. There's like barely a twinge of purple left. And that bothers me. Like, it washed out all my color. I'm not happy with it. I don't think it's good for people with colored hair. I don't think it delivers what it's supposed to, what it says it's going to. So, um, sorry. This is a very negative review. But I did go in with full hopes. And I put away all the biased crap that I could have said about these things. But I tried to solely review this product on its own as a brand new product from the hair care line. I didn't associate it with the other ones who were failures. I tried so hard to like this product and I had such high hopes, but after this, like, I don't want to touch it anymore. Like, I don't want it near my hair, I don't want it anywhere near my shower, like, it single-handedly ruined my hair as far as my color goes and really it did nothing really beneficial to my hair. Yes, it smells good, that's that's cool, that's fine, then whatever, but thank L'Oreal and Influencer for thinking of me and saying that I was going to be a good match for this program, but I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, I, I, I pretty much now know that I'm not ever going to have any likes with L'Oreal Hair Care line. Um, some of the styling products I do like, the styling ones I do like, but when it comes to the shampoo conditioners, I don't find they're any good. I have not used any of them that made a, any difference to my hair. So I'm sorry if this disappointed you guys, but this is my honest review. I mean, I, I've showed you guys proof of everything that I've said. The hair color washing out, you know, my hair naturally is really, really curly when it gets out of the shower. There was no curl to it, barely anything to it. So it was really, really weird how it restructurized my hair in the complete opposite way it was supposed to. So that's my review. I'm sorry. If, if you get mad, if you get angry, it's my opinion, you might have different opinions on it, you're more than welcome to have your opinion on it, but I've tested it for myself, and for myself, I would never buy it. I will not buy the products. Ever. So, yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you guys in my next video. I love you. Bye.